Hi, I'm Randy Vance for Boating Magazine. Today I'm testing a brand new boat from Ranger. It is the Z521C. This is the Mac Daddy of the Comanche series, the most coveted bass boat series in the tournament trail. I'm going to walk you through this boat and all the great fishing features on board, but I know you want to know how fast it goes. So take a look right now at the results of our performance testing from earlier today. Our test boat was equipped with an Evinrude E-Tech 250 horsepower HO outboard. Our test prop was a Raker 26-inch three-blade stainless steel. We had a test load of 415 pounds of passengers and 25 gallons of fuel. We reached a top speed of 70.8 miles per hour at 6200 RPM. Our time to plane was 4.3 seconds and our time to 30 miles per hour was 7.8 seconds. Our most economical cruise speed was 28.2 miles per hour at 3500 RPM while burning 8 gallons per hour. Now take a look at this console where the captain sits. It is sleek and it's streamlined. Look at the dashboard. Stainless steel mesh. It's the coolest look I've seen in a long time. The Lowrance HDS-12 fits up here perfectly, giving you a great view below the water and your position on the earth with the GPS. The switching system is all digital and it's waterproof, as are the instruments on board. We like the fact that the seats in this boat are all redesigned. They've got thick cushions and a nice resilient foam, plus the captain's chair slides fore and aft to give you the ideal leg room. Now sink your toes into this thickly padded casting platform. It's designed to keep you away from the chiropractor at the end of a day of hard fishing. So is this recessed trolling motor pedal. It goes to the Minn Kota Fortrex 24 volt motor and that's standard. Also standard on the Comanche up front is the HDS-5 Lowrance sonar system. This one is optioned up to an HDS-9. Now this boat is optioned up with the Hydra Wave. That's a device that commercial fishermen have been using for years to draw bait into a tighter ball and help stimulate a feed. The tournament guys have found it works well when it's connected to their trolling motor and that's dropped in the water. Now this boat comes with tons of dedicated rod storage. The port locker will hold 10 rods in easy to use butt hangers and tip protectors. The center locker will hold another 10 and it'll keep your rods secure while you're on the fly or trailering down the road. To the starboard of that, you've got an enormous locker and two smaller tackle lockers aft. Now the really cool thing about the storage system in the Comanche series boats are the ventilation system. You use your tackle hard and you put it away wet. Well, it dries down here with an electric fan that blows air through the whole storage area, keeping the moisture out, fighting mold and corrosion. Now I like the fact that the step down into the cockpit conceals a cooler here. You can also use this starboard storage compartment as a cooler if you want, or just as dry storage. If you take a look in here, you see these nice trim panels, but what those really are is where you're gonna store your pliers and your knives and the fishing gear that you're going to use to keep your tackle operational. And your fishing ruler is stored right there. Now another great feature that I think your passenger angler is going to appreciate is the rod storage on the port gunnel. There's three butt slots, it'll hold six to seven rods, and there's a retractable tip strap. It keeps everything secure while you're on the fly. And you know one nice thing is the way Ranger figures out a way to make something useful out of every square inch of this boat. Like the handy storage compartment underneath that step to the aft platform. Here's one of the best features on the boat, it's the live well. It's complete with culling panels so that you can open just half the live well and you can sort your fish. You're not gonna have to worry about one jumping out on you. It's aerated, it's recirculated, it's on a timer, and it's also a pump out system. It's really the berries. Now there's port storage here. It's all gel coated inside so it's easy to care for. And on the starboard side, it's gel coated as well. But as you can see, Got a nice little storage tray inside there, and that's a great place to keep tools that you might need, like a prop wrench or a pair of pliers. Now, Ranger makes their boats easy to own and to use as well. There's some features outside the boat that I really like. You've got an external oil fill that lets you put your oil in the boat without getting oil in the bilge. Nice job. You've also got a remote drain plug here. You don't have to get down under the boat, screw it in or unscrew it, and you're never going to lose it. The last thing, and this might be the coolest, it's the external battery charge connector outside your cover so you can access it when your boat is under the tarp. Now you lift the hatch back here, 
and you've got easy access to the Ranger Professional Series battery charger, all your batteries, and the electronics down below. It's really easily accessible, and it's one of the things that makes this boat easy to own. Now the Ranger Z521C may be the most coveted bass boat on the market. It's certainly one of the best equipped I've seen. And it's certainly one of the coolest. But it's hot right now, and cool is what I want. So I'm gonna crank up that Evinrude HO250 and see if I can stir up a breeze. I'm Randy Vance. This is the Ranger Z521C, the Mac Daddy of the Comanche series for Boating Magazine.